In this experiment, a steel ball is dropped and falls through vertical height h. The time taken to fall is measured using light gates. So you're making two measurements. Your results are in this table and you notice how for each measurement there is an uncertainty. It's normal for experiments. The acceleration for free fall is used, uh, calculated with this equation shown. What is the percentage uncertainty in the value of g? First step you want to do is rearrange the equation into the value that you want to find. You want to find g, right? Okay, so how to find g? g will be equal to, well, this will be 2h, right? 2h uh, divided by t squared. You must rearrange first. Then, step two. Okay, I'm going to go, I'm going to go up here. Step two, you ask yourself, where is the uncertainty coming from? If you look at h and t, they both have uncertainty. So h is going to have some uncertainty here. Not very sure of the value. Okay, t also got some uncertainty here. They both contribute. We need to combine together. But you cannot just add the uncertainty because one is in meter, one is in second. Hello? You cannot add meter plus second. One apple plus one banana equals two. Two apple bananas cannot. La, not. What kind of logic is that? Cannot. So we need to come up with the equation. Let's use fractional uncertainty. For example, fractional uncertainty. I want to find uncertainty in G. That's a fraction. Equals to the first one, H. Okay, we're going to say uncertainty in H over H. Plus, we have to plus because uncertainty always add. Fractional uncertainty always add, percentage uncertainty always add. T here has uncertainty, but there's 2 of T, T square. So don't forget the square, I bring the power down. And this will be delta T over T. This here is because of the square t. Now we are ready to calculate fractional uncertainty in uh, g. So let's go first. Later we want percentage value. Okay, la, later. That one later we convert. Okay. Delta g over g will then equal to um, 0 0.01 over 4.05 plus 2 times double of time. So 0 0.02 over 0 0.91. Nine two, nine one or nine one, sorry. Okay, so I'm just taking the uncertainty divided by the value, and I get this. So if I press calculator, I should get zero point four, zero point zero four six four, and this is a fraction, not yet percentage. You want to convert fraction to percentage? You times hundred, lo. Okay, so we times hundred. Therefore, our percentage in G will be times hundred is what ah. Uh? 1, 2. Oh, 4%. 4.6%. Okay. Answer is B. So make sure you do step 1, rearrange equation first. Then come out with your identity. Use all the identities we just took at to put together. Combine the uncertainties. And then see, depending on what you need, fraction or percentage, you choose your answer from there.